I want you to do something with me today. Ready? Go. What are we doing? We're listening. What do you hear? You're probably hearing sounds that are a lot different than you normally do. In this time of physical distancing, we're hearing things that are atypical to our normal routine. If I were to listen to what's going on in my house right now, I'm right in the thick of it. My wife and I have jobs where the two of us are home together. Our kids are here because school's not in session, and so I hear little feet running through the halls. I have three kids, 13, 11, and eight, and they are active and they are all over the place. I can hear the voice of my wife during the day, which is not typical. I'm hearing sounds that I don't normally hear. What do you hear? Probably things that aren't normal. Our verse today tells us, James 1.19, that we should be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. Well, I'll tell you, in this time that's not typical, I'm probably the reverse of that. It's not been easy to listen in this time because my routine has been thrown out the window. There isn't anything that seems to be normal right now. All the activities I've done before, I'm not doing now. All the things I'm doing now, I'm trying to figure out what a new normal looks like. And there's all these sounds around me that quite honestly can be frustrating. Lots of noise. And my response has not been to be quick to listen to that noise. It's been quick to respond to that noise, and that response has been exactly what this verse tells me I shouldn't do. I've been more likely to be quick to say something or quick to anger and slow to listen. And yet this is such a unique time. What if we just stopped to listen? What would we hear? Because there's other sounds out there right now that we're not used to, like silence. There aren't any cars driving about. Very few sirens. The noise of humanity has come to a halt. And if we take the time to listen, it's pretty incredible. And when we take that time to listen, not only do we hear the sounds around us, but we can also hear God's voice just that much clearer. So in this time, what is it that you hear? I'd love for you to share that with me. Comment on this post, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. Share with me, what are you hearing? And take the time to listen. And then be careful. Don't respond. Don't respond with words. Don't respond with anger. Just listen and see what it is that you hear. Because as these verses continue on, it tells us what happens when we respond in anger. But that's for a conversation for tomorrow. Instead, today, just take some time. And listen. And then tell me what you hear. It's a pretty incredible sound. Have a great day.